So hello everyone and welcome uh, to this side of what to ask the spirit world um, when you want to ask them questions and you're working with your mediumship. And you think about, um, you know, when you're making a connection with the spirit world, what sort of questions would you ask them? And that's the thing that I that, that I, I work on a lot with my students to find out what you what you would ask uh, the spirit world, what questions, and how do you ask the questions? Because really, you'd like to get some more information. Um, I'm going to be talking about you this in this video about uh, what to ask the spirit world, but also you know feel free to let me know you're here, give me a like if you're enjoying the video, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that we can really enjoy sharing more content with you guys. So many many students that when they begin they're like what should i ask the spirit world what sort of questions should i ask and i say um you know become like really interested in what the spirit world want to say and the more interested you become the more that you the more um information you're going to receive um, people that are asking that would like to ask questions on the spirit world, they'd be like, you know, when you think about when someone's a sitter comes for a reading, what would they like to ask the spirit world? Is everything okay? Um, did did they pass over fine? Um, are they okay on the other side? All these sort of questions is what a sitter would ask a medium if they came to them, um, and they'd be asking like, you know, um, do they still do they still know? That I'm that I'm here. Did they see see me when I had this achievement in my life? Are my loved ones still aware of me? All these things that the you know the sitters would ask when they were coming to um, to go for to go for a reading with a medium. So when you're working in mediumship and you want to get more information, you have to remember like, okay, what what would I like to receive? How would you like to receive more information? So hello for those just joining me. If you're liking what I'm, my video, please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, so we're talking about how and why, how do you ask the questions? Because if you're asking questions within your mind and you're going, right, I really need to know this information. So you're the medium asking questions. When you do that, you're you're going into your beta mind. And when you go into your beta mind, that means you're moving away from that spiritual energy, that connection that you had. Um, and you don't want to be in your beta mind because when you're too much in your beta mind asking questions, you'll move away from your link from the spirit world and you'll be like more like, I'm, I don't quite feel the spirit world anymore. Where did they go? What's, what's going on? Um, so, and the only thing that's happened at that moment in time is that your mind has you know suddenly um, been aware that it's it's in its beta brain and not in in the spiritual world. So really, you need to be in your soul. And when you're in your soul and you're in that soul connection and you feel in that soul connection, you've got to be in that. I really want to know more information. I'd really like to hear more information from the spirit world. And in that feeling, it's like. You know when you're really, like when you meet someone for the first time and you'd like to know more information, you, you'd say, oh, how are you? Where do you come from? You, and you get interested and you say, oh, I come from this and this place. And suddenly you get even more interested. Oh, I'd like to know more. Well, that feeling of wanting to ask more is what you should use within your mediumship to ask for more information. It's a feeling from the soul, like really wanting to know more, become more inquisitive in your mediumship um you know i have i have um you know things when you think about this what sort of questions do you ask i mean when you're in the practice group you could ask what color are their eyes hello and, and welcome for who's just joining me um if you want to write a question or anything about this please do if you'd like to um uh, interact with me please do it's nice to have you here but yeah so when when you're actually um Connecting with the spirit world, you make it th those questions. You may have like a question of like, oh, different subjects. Like, what about their work? Um, what work did they do? Um, what were their hobbies? Um, what um, 
what things what what things did they like to do what were they good in what was their favorite food what was their favorite television program what was their favorite music what was their favorite thing to do when they were in on the world in this world and these questions the more inquisitive you get the more information you can get the more information you can get from the spirit world and that's a really really interesting thing um, to investigate when you're working in the in your groups and circles to get interested so when you find out oh this person loved to travel then you go back to the spirit world and ask for more you're asking for more information from your soul you're asking oh i'd love to hear more about that travel where did you travel oh I'd really love to know. And they may tell you that they traveled um, to, to to the Alps and they went skiing. Or they may be told, tell you that they went to Italy or they could tell you that they went to these different places, but they'd never be able to tell you if you weren't really interested inside of you and inside of your soul. So if mediums that would like to have more information from the spirit world, you know, just play around with in, when, in your circles like what would I like to hear more? Would I like to hear more about their work, hobbies, um, how they lived? Did they? Um, what were their likes? What were their dislikes? How did they like to be? What What did they believe in? Um, a lot of people like to talk about what they believed in. Um, and also, you know, to get into, think about this. They've come all this way to speak to their loved ones. What, what would they like to say? So it's like, putting yourself in their position and saying, what would they like to say? So, you know, the questions that you'd like to ask the spirit world are really from inside, but you ask them in a way like um, really wanting to know more, open open questions, not like not, not asking for a yes or no answer, but you're asking for more information. Um, so when you've got an open heart and you do this in a loving way, then that you're going to receive more information. So that's what I want to say about that. But remember, also, all the questions that your sitters would have, like they want to know, did, uh, did they get all right and all that, but what other questions the spirit world would like to ask? Have you ever thought about that? It's like, you know, think, imagine this. Um, when someone passes over to the spirit world, they're, they're in a totally different place, in a totally different vibration, in a totally different uh, place altogether. And from their perspective, what would they like to say? So they, you may be wanting to ask questions, but at the same time, they may, may, may want to convey a message like, I survived, I'm still alive, I'm okay. Um, you can look at it like, you know, when you, you know when you go on a big long travel and you've gone like with the airplane to a totally different side of, of the world and you're in a different country like China and they all speak a different language. The first thing you do is you ring home and you say to your loved ones, hey, I'm okay, I arrived all right, don't you worry. And it's the same in the spirit world. Um, and, and, you know, because the spirit world would be like, yeah, we'd like to say, hey, we're okay, we're fine, uh, we arrived safely, we're all good and, and we're all fine and, and, and we, we're okay. And that's what they like, the, the thing they like to convey. Um, people that have passed in, in accidents in the spirit world, they'd like to make sure and say, hey, past an accident, it's fine, I'm, I did, I'm okay. So when you think about what the spirit world wants to say, and us as mediums, what we'd like to ask the spirit world, um, and the questions of, of people that come for readings as well, like a lady's just written here, um, you know, would like to communicate, um, where's the husband in the spirit world? Um, and, and that's that's the thing. Is it tangible, tangible where they are? So you're like, okay, you can't see them, you can't feel them. Maybe you can get their vibration. But you it would be like a feet more of a feeling. So when you when you when you're there, your question would be like, are they okay? And then you get you get the answer and you feel, yes, they are, they're fine. Um that's the that's the way it is. But when you think about it. When you're looking at, at getting the best best out of this, it's it, you want to get ask ask questions about work, hobbies, uh, lifestyle, um, likes and dislikes, um, what they what they were good in, what they were not good in, what did they enjoy, what did they not enjoy, um, and and you know all these questions that you can ask, but know that you've also got to be so inquisitive to ask for more. So when you get a bit of information like 
the lady liked her house, then what did she like about her house? Get in. Oh, that would be nice. She liked, she liked, yes, she liked that. She may even show you around the house. So when you're doing this within your mediumship and you're opening up your mediumship in this way, you want to get more inquisitive to receive more information. So mediums or up, up and coming mediums, people that like to work in circles and stuff like that. Yeah, just get more inquisitive and try and, and just communicate more. Um, so, you know, that's that's something I'd like to um, convey to you today. So when you when you have that talking to the talking to the spirit world, um, when it doesn't work and you're not getting the information, that's because you're in you, you go into your mind. And you don't want to be in your mind, you want to be into your feelings, into your soul. And when you're in your feelings and your soul, that's when there's a movement within your mediumship and a movement within what's going on. Um, so has anyone else got any questions that they'd like to ask? So just feel free to ask any questions. You can write it in the chat. Uh, feel free to like uh, this video if you're enjoying this video and look look forward to ca catching you on my channel again. Um, so please, please do. Um, so communication, when you think about it, um, it's, it's, it's a, you've got to be a good listener. So like when we're trying so hard to get information, we'll be like, oh, I really got to get this information. But when you can just let yourself go and just feel into what is listening, into the listening of what they're saying, you'll receive a lot more information. So get inquisitive, ask, the, ask things out of the box as well, like what were their eye colour, what were their hair colour, how did they look, what was their description, what sort of clothes did they like, what are their shoe size, um, what, um, what music did they like, uh, did they like to listen to the radio, um, did they, what was their favourite television programme, did they like to go to the cinema, did they enjoy dancing, did they enjoy music, could they play music, could they, if they played music, could they read the music, could they write music, all these things that can expand your mediumship mm -hmm. in just becoming more inquisitive and asking more questions from, from, uh, from when, you, when you're in connection with the spirit world. So I ask you all to, to go forward and just enjoy, um, you know, uh, getting more inquisitive. Enjoy the moment and enjoy asking the questions in, from your soul and, and just enjoy the information that's coming in. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's just a quick one this week because I just wanted to have a little talk about that. Um, and obviously, if you've got any more questions, you'd like me to talk about other stuff, just let me know. Um, please write to me, give me, a, give me a message and let me know stuff that you'd like me to talk about. Okay, but feel free to subscribe to my channel. Give me a like if you enjoyed this one. And on my channel, there are a lot more different videos that you can watch and just enjoy. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.